None of my business how the French run their rivers, but I think they should confine all this water skiing and motorboat stuff to Saint Tropez and let us sort of more gentle folk get on with doing what's important in life, which is cooking and sitting paddling by the river. I own a cook few, a very with no further ado, notice you see, trawlers, aeroplanes, anything you like, punts, flat bottom punts, we can do it. I own a cook few a salad which is typical to this region. It uses do you want to come in close here, Clive, and have a look and see what we've got here? Which is some pre-prepared goose giblets. You can buy them in a tin from delicatessens in England, and you can also buy them anywhere around here in the Perigord. All you do, you heat up some, you have to follow me around on this rocky little flat-bottomed punt, <laughs> uh, into the hot walnut oil. You put a few of these giblets, OK. Then, stay with me, Clive. You add a few croutons, already slightly fried. You warm them through. You add a few fresh walnuts, particularly nice here. That this is a walnut-producing region. And they've got that fresh, they're not like three months after Christmas taste that many of ours are like. Then into the salad, you stir that around. Close up on the salad here, please. Oh, it's spitting and burning my little artist's knees. We won't worry too much about that. Final moment, we just tuck in a little drop of wine vinegar into that. Let it bubble. You can smell the lovely vinegar mixing with the walnut oil. You tip that onto the top of there like that. Grab a fork. Stir it round a little bit and have a little mouthful. It's quite delicious and very simple. Here comes another one. I thought we got away from them. Look, how many minutes they are. Up the lazy river in an open boat. Now everything is perfect because the launcher flowed. Then these bats from hell come and break a spell. Crazy, lazy river, mon